So the vapor compression refrigeration system has an evaporator, has a condenser, has a compressor, but the compressor, you want to feed it saturated vapor. So the state one is now what is saturated vapor. And so bring that over to the edge of your dome. That's one, state one, into the compressor. Now the compressor, as shown, is reversible, adiabatic, so it's straight up on the TS diagram up to this line of constant pressure. This is your P high, high pressure line. So there's up to state two. State two now is superheated vapor. And it's higher than temperature TH. So it's really easy to reject heat as it cools the superheated vapor. And then now, depending on how you model it, is this fluid inside the condenser, does it have the same temperature as uh, the thermal reservoir in which you're dumping heat to? Let's model it as it is. Yes, it's the same temperature. But you know that the fluid inside the tubes of the condenser has to be hotter, or you're not going to push heat out of it. It's not going to condense. It's got, so this has to be higher than this. But what we do is we just model it as the same temperature as the first approximation. You still take it over to saturated liquid. This is saturated liquid coming out. True at state 3. You could come out subcooled liquid, but just bring it out saturated liquid. Pass it through a restriction called an expansion valve. This is a flow through a finite pressure difference. It's highly irreversible. It's not like the turbine. We put a dashed line indicating that you're gaining entropy because of the irreversibilities, but you're still going to the low pressure. That's pressure low, dropping down to the low pressure in the evaporator. You have a quality, some X of four, two phase. So when you attack a problem like this, you want to get your illustration, your, your diagram, and get a table of properties.